So what's up guys? Today's another segment of blogging while driving and um, I always like these because I, I get just to freestyle and explain some recent transactions that we did. I like to buy, like to talk about today about a transaction that we just closed in Gainesville, Florida. Um, this is a very unique property. And the reason why is because it was a portfolio of 44 buildings comprised of duplex, triplex, fourplex, and eight units. Uh, this was a tough transaction to put together. Uh, we were dealing with multiple owners, multiple uh, different folios. So this type of asset is not one of those assets where it's too e it's easy to get financing on. Uh, we actually bought this property for 16 million 200, 16 million 200 about 78 a door we paid for it. Um, we like this sub market. We, we identified this sub market through a relationship of a good friend and investor that we have in the area. Um, he owns assets in the area uh, and is actually building uh, a new apartment, a new multifamily apartment in the area. Uh, and that is uh, Lewis with Murbeck Investment. And He's always spoke very highly about this Gainesville market. Um, we were always in conversation of uh, what can we do together in this market. So he brought this deal to us and that's how we took it upon ourselves to say, you know what, we want to be in this market with him. Uh, let's see how we could buy this. Uh, one of the things that attracted us to this property was right across, this is a, it was a Class C asset, where we bought a Class C asset, but right across the street from us, there is nothing but brand new construction development going on. And what I mean by brand new, we're talking about single family, we're talking about brand new retail, uh, we're talking about brand new apartment complex, literally across the street from us. So that right there, as soon as I saw that, I go, oh wow, this, is, this, this neighborhood is, is turning into a class A neighborhood. Uh, and we have a class C product. And if anyone has heard my my podcast or any of my blogs in the past that is what we like to buy class C product and a trending neighborhood to a class B class A those are the assets we love to to jump into we'll turn this class C apartment complex into a class A by the time we're done with our finishes we plan to spend about two million dollars in renovation um, we went in with average rents at 800 um, we feel very strongly we could get these rents up to 1200 with the type of renovations that we're going to do. Uh, our typical renovation for something like this is going to be a brand new, brand new kitchen cabinets, checker style. Uh, we're going to go with the white cabinets, granite countertops, countertops brand new appliances, uh, stainless steel appliances, um, nice modern gray uh, vinyl plank flooring. We're going to go with a commercial grade. And that type of finish, new hardware, new lighting, we're confident we could get these rents up. Um, another thing that was we were very attracted to this community is it is comprised mostly of townhomes. I love townhomes product. They're, they're, they, sell, they rent and sell very well. Uh, there's nothing better for most, for most families to have their living room and their bedroom separated. Uh, and that is the beauty about a townhome. So one of the best things that we saw about Gainesville is that we saw a 19% year over year rent growth in Gainesville and that is incredible. Uh, for any investor who, who's, who's looking for a market to invest in, when you see numbers like that, that type of rent growth year over year, that is a big deal. Um, also, uh, there is also a huge demand for, for rent, for housing to rent. Um, there's more people there renting than there's more people buying homes. So what's happening is about 48% is uh, our owners that are buying their own properties and the remaining are renters. Uh, so that is po very popular for a rental market. So we plan to stay in Gainesville and keep growing in Gainesville. Um, there's other stuff that we're on the contract. Hopefully in the next two months, I could tell you about the next one that we bought in Gainesville. So th this property in particular, the, we, we did not get financing. Um, our, our group that we invest with was coming off a of 1031 and needed to move their money uh, fast. We had 45 days after that 1031. Uh, for those who are not familiar with a 1031, uh, when you exit on a property and you do not want to get taxed on it, 
uh, you have the option to do a 1031, but you're very limited to your time frame, which is 45 days to identify a property, and then you have six months to close it. Uh, so we were in a hurry and we were able to acquire this property all cash off a 1031. So, you know, we, we got lucky that we were able to put this together with, with our investors capital off the 1031 because typically this, a transaction like this with this many parcels and separate owners, it's very challenging to get financing on it. I'm not saying it's not, but the reason why we got the deal and the price that we got was because of the, the cash power that we had in our contract. So negotiating went really fast and we were able to close also just as fast. So I wanna thank you guys for listening and we'd love to hear comments or questions or if anyone's in the business would like to throw me a deal, uh, any type of any property in the state of Florida, Ohio, uh, Tennessee, Atlanta, South Carolina, North Carolina, you run into any 100 units or anything like that up, please just shoot them to me. Uh, I'd like to work with you and network with you and uh, maybe we could do a deal together. Till next time.